R-V-B-N, the Rich Video Blog Network, home to weekly NFL predictions, personality profiles, sports video blogs, professional wrestling video blogs, entertainment video blogs, and a whole lot more. Check out my collection going back to June of 2014 on Facebook and YouTube. R-V-B-N, Bellica, Massachusetts. Good afternoon, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. This is Rich again, back for your second video blog of the day for Thursday, December 15th, 2016, around 5.17 in the afternoon in Bellica, Massachusetts. It was a sunny day out, a quick brief snow squall, and it's about 22 degrees. The bottom's going to drop out tonight. Going to be about zero or below zero most places. And plus, the wind is going to be wicked. 50 miles per hour. That means some scattered power outages. So bundle, bundle up. Cover everything because if you expose your skin, any type of skin that ex is exposed during this weather could get frostbite within 30 minutes. And that's not good. Some news to report on the RVBN Newswire. Do, 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 do. It's Happy National Cupcake Day. Uh, CBS is considering making our updated version of the Honeymooners. Remakes of classic TV shows don't work. Also, Baseball Hall of Famer Rod Carew is going to get a heart transplant and a kidney transplant. So keep your thoughts and prayers with Rod Carew. And sad news to report in the world of the NBA. Long time NBA sideline reporter Craig Sager passed away at the age of 65 after a battle of leukemia. Craig had three bone marrow transplants and he was a very inspirational guy known for his colorful attire. He came back a couple of times after battling like leukemia and yeah, and but he lost his battle. So prayers to his family in this time of need. That's about it on the news from the RVBN News. Why do 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 do? Be back in a flash with your second video blog of the day. Boom! 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 Knockout punch. I'm back. My second video blog subject of the day is a classic TV series, mystery, romance, and crime drama, Hot to Hot. Hot to Hot lasted five seasons on ABC between August 25th, 1979 and May 22nd, 1984. And it was created by Sidney Sheldon, the longtime author of mystery romances, and he also created the classic TV sitcom, I Dream of Jeannie. The executive producers were Aaron Spelling and Leonard Goldberg, and it was produced by Rona 2 plus Spelling Goldberg Productions in association with Sony Pictures Television. And the series was about um, a self-made millionaire and his freelance writer wife and they would play amateur detectives and it starred um, Robert Wagner as Jonathan Hart who was a self-made millionaire he owned his own conglomerate Hart Industries his wife was played by Steph Stephanie Powers Jennifer Hart she was a freelance writer, and they had a butler. His name was Max, and he was played by Lionel Stander. And the series 
was a mystery slash romance slash crime drama series. And it's about the CEO, um, Jonathan Hart, and his freelance writer living a jet style life. They were rich beyond beyond rich. They had lots of nice cars and a lot, lot of fancy stuff. They got invited to a lot of parties. And usually the hearts were, would find themselves in, in, in a lot of stuff that involved crime and thieves and smuggling and corporate and international espionage and most of the times they found themselves seeing murders and the hearts like played amateur detectives to catch the criminals eventually and this had a lot of good stuff Jonathan I mean Robert Wagner and Stephanie and Stephanie Powers had a lot of great chemistry together on Heart to Heart. They had a a dog named Freeway. The background on Heart to Heart, how it got got as a series. Uh, in the in the early nineteen seventies, Sidney Sheldon wrote a a Part, a potential television pilot for CBS called Double Twist and it was about a husband and wife who were spies against the, spying against each other. This was a time when the James Bond films were really big and plus they had a lot of like spy shows on television and CBS looked at it but it put it on the shelf for many years and in the late 1970s Spelling Goldberg's productions actually bought that script to air as a as a potential series on ABC but they, they, he, he, they told Sidney Sheldon to kind of rework it so it could fit the audience of the late 1970s to make it more like maybe an am amateur detective slash sleuth kind of show. And once Sidney Seldon did that, then the Spelling Goldberg b bought it as hard to hard. And, sp and sp Spelling Goldberg originally wanted Cary Grant as the lead role as Jonathan Hart, but Cary Grant was basically retired from the from show business in the late 1970s. Plus, he was 75 years old, and Cary took a pass on it. And the only other serious candidate besides Robert Wagner to play Jonathan Hart was George Hamilton. But Spelling Goldberg production thought George Hamilton was a little too funny and he, he wouldn't be the audience wouldn't buy him as Jonathan Hart and the initial choices to play Jennifer Hart was Robert Wagner's wife Natalie Wood but she passed on it because she was still a big movie star and she actually appeared in the pilot for Hot to Hot others others were that were were considered for Jennifer Hart was Suzanne Pleshett and Lizney Wagner and Kate Jackson. But eventually it went to Stephanie Powers and she, that was a good thing. And Robert Wagner really wanted um, Max to be played by Boxing Hall of Famer Sugar Ray Robinson. But this was at a time in the late 1970s that was still a lot of stuff with civil rights and Spelling Goldberg really had concerns that a African-American butler to a Caucasian couple at during that time would have like you know they would have felt a lot of backlash in it so L Lionel Stragna was was picked to play Max and that was pretty good and the show was 
a ratings hit for ABC. It peaked in the ratings in 1981-1982 as the number 15th biggest show on ABC. 110 episodes were produced and it it was going to be renewed for a sixth season but um, Robert Wagner and Stephanie Powers found out the cancellation of Hot to Hot in the newspapers. This was before the internet and stuff and they were kind of disappointed. But like Robert Wagner and Stephanie Powers reunited to do eight Hot to Hot t TV movies in the 1990s. The first seven of them were for ABC. The last one was for from for Fox Family Channel, which is now Freeform, and the movies were pretty good, and the television series Hot to Hot was awesome, in my humble opinion. It was, you know, a little bit of crime drama mixed with mystery and romance, and also amateur detective work, which the Hot were pretty good playing for that. In 2015, NBC announced it was going to consider reviving Hot to Hot, having a gay married couple be be Hot to Hot, but that that like the but the production never happened, and TV reboots don't work out in my humble opinion. And that's about it on Hot to Hot. I will be back with my third and final video blog of the night, which will be about my take on cold call. You gotta hear this one. Keep calm, everybody. And I'm a Julie Bunning guy. Molly Rosenblatt of WCCO Rocks and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hart is so, so stunning. She's the best. Amy Sweezy's awesome, awesome Amy. Linda Church of WPX, Channel 11, New York. Such a rocking cougar's got the best legs in New York City, bar none. Bob Gives of ABC 11 has that sweet southern accent. Best legs in Raleigh, North Carolina. Wen Claire of WHDH, Channel 7 in Boston is such a rocking lady who's got the best legs in Boston. And Jamie Hirsch of W. Um, the NHL Network is a cute leggy blonde. The best legs on the NHL Network. Have a good day, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Boss. See you tonight.